Hi, everybody. All right, so I am disastrously late. Took a mental health day. Wife and I ran off to Monterey to collect ourselves. It's just, it's been a long bunch of months. All right, so we're working on the tray to hold the back comm, the remote comm. So that is the spot between the sub panel and the firewall. That little piece of metal is about, I don't know, 14 and a half, I think, or 14 and three quarters by about seven inches. Bent the edges, nice and sturdy. It's going to hold the radio, no problem. Might even hold my engine stuff later. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's see. What do I have? Any news while I'm missing? Uh, I'm preparing the new home. Yeah, there's a new hangar. Uh, it's a long story, and I'm... I'm moving it. I'm actually cleaning it right now. Uh, it's dirty. It's actually right behind the wall. So it's behind. It's the hangar behind the wall where everything is to the right there. So I'm on the other side. I wish I could just cut a hole because moving everything would be a hell of a lot easier. But it's a long story. But this is actually this is actually mine because so my buddy's coming back. So his plane's coming back. <clears throat> um, two months and less than two months. So I I gotta be out anyway. So yeah, it's kind of it's kind of fortuitous. All right, so this plate's going in. I think I wind up drilling like number 26s for uh, some 3 16 inch uh, Clecos here. So I'm going to put a rivet in, not a rivet, uh, nut plate. Sorry. It's, it's late and I'm really tired. <clears throat> but I am very late. So yeah, uh, nut plates in all of them. I can reach right through that glove box and reach all of them, so that's no big deal. I can, I can reach right through there and take that whole plate off if I need to. I mean, but I mean, the only time I'd ever need to is just if I have to unhook that radio. And that's easy, because that won't be all the way towards the firewall. That'll just be a little bit back. Because the radio is held on by three screws of its own. But it's sort of slipped in. There's channels. That I'll, I'll show it to you later. It's 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 going to be pretty cool the way I do it. I'm going to have jam nuts. I'm going to have jam nuts just to hold the uh, access to the com. All right, so chapter two of this video... Uh, in the last one, we put a two-prong terminal block in to handle some of the LED stuff. So we're replacing that with an eight-prong one. So this is going to hold the LEDs. This is going to hold the uh, DC lighting bus. This is going to power the LEDs. This, this is going to be a lot. I think I'm using up like five or six of them. And since there's the access panels on the top right there, getting to them, very simple. So... I'm sort of going to do the same thing on the le uh, other side of the uh, plane there, uh, except in, uh, not a terminal block, but I'm going to use it as a uh, bus, actually, and provide power for all of the switches uh, underneath the pilot. So, like, all the lights, you know, strobes, navs, landing, taxi, uh, not fuel pumps, but, like, the pitot heat, that'll be there, the defrost fans, that'll be there. So I have to have a big old bus, and I'm going to put that on the right side. It fits nicely underneath that gas strut. You can see the gas strut up there. Sorry about not being able to see the terminal. I dropped the camera and moved it back up. If you need to, go back and take a freeze frame. It's you know it's just a it's a nice eight prong term, uh, terminal block, but it's got a uh, plastic cover on it, so it s snaps into place really hard and keeps you from accidentally you know shorting anything, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah, so someone had asked about the speaker. You like the, uh, that's the painter's tape uh, edition. So the audio panel I'm using allows for, you know, an external speaker. Now, there's no volume on it. That's the only thing I don't like. Uh, it's just basically, it's a 4 ohm impedance speaker and it gets 10 watts. And that's it. So it you can hear it, but it's always the same volume no matter what. Uh, I'm thinking about finding a way to mount it actually in that lightning hole. I might have to make it like four little tabs or something. i got to mount that thing somewhere. I just don't know where yet. And I'm not sure if I like that. You know, if, if it's not loud enough, I, I seriously, I might just put, like, a PA speaker and a tiny little amp. Ooh, that's what I can use the button underneath my... Yeah, so the, my, my uh, control stick has the trigger, which is the push to talk, but there's a secret button underneath. I could use that to do the PA. Yeah, I can just pull up behind a 737. 
You and the light twin, move. <laughs> like they could hear me anyway. Okay, so once that's all hooked up, it actually works amazingly well. So, you know, the LEDs I've got on the dimmers. I've got the uh, DC lighting buses for our uh, bus wires from all of the avionics in. Works great. And you're going to see that later. It's pretty, it's pretty sweet. All right, again, sorry for being late. Uh, everyone needs a break, you know what I'm saying? Have a good weekend. I'm having one. Uh, I will talk to you soon. Bye.